read the first Harry Potter book when I was in college. I was immediately hooked, and it's not overstating to say that Harry Potter has changed my life for the better in lots of ways. To explain my love of Harry Potter, I'm going to share my favorite things in 15 parts. I made this list really quickly and could probably come up with dozens, if not hundreds, more reasons, but I didn't want to go overboard. Number one, Harry Potter reintroduced me to the world of YA. That led to John Green and Maureen Johnson, E. Lockhart, Scott Westerfeld, and tons of other authors that made me want to read and share the amazingness of YA, hence this channel. Number two, the incredible community that's been inspired by Harry Potter, including my favorites. Number three, the strange, funny, super talented musicians who make wizard rock. I'm partial to the Mudbloods because they're from my town. And number four, the Harry Potter Alliance, which recently sent four planes full of food and supplies to Haiti. Number five, the amazing movies which just keep getting better and which leads me to. Number six, my birthday the last two years where all of my wonderful friends sat with me and watched all the movies back to back and we ate Number seven, the most wonderful Harry Potter cake that's ever been created. Number eight, J.K. Rowling, who was taking a train from London to Manchester when she came up with this amazing story and she put it down on paper in a way that connected with children and adults in such a powerful way. Number nine, Albus Dumbledore, for providing a vision of how to wield great power ethically and responsibly. Ten. The plethora of strong female characters like Luna and Ginny and Professor McGonagall and, of course, I'm out of fingers so stick with me, this is number 11, Hermione Granger, one of my favorite characters of all time. I wish every smart girl in the world, myself included, could have her fearlessness. Number 12, the new Universal Studios theme park that I'm hoping to go to next year and every time I look at the pictures I just get more excited. 13. The very first chapter of The Sorcerer's Stone, which is titled The Boy Who Lived. It so perfectly opens the door to this whole other world in a way that's just as sure-footed as that other series about the wardrobe, which is also wonderful. 14. The recent Harry Potter trivia contest that my team of six competed in against 44 other teams. Some people were in dress robes, but almost everyone showed off an encyclopedic knowledge of Harry Potter. Totally dorky, but also a really fun way to spend a Saturday afternoon. 15. The brilliant last book and the way the story ends. I'm not going to spoil it here, but if you haven't read these books yet, what are you waiting for? So that's my 15. If you have any favorites that I'm missing, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching and keep reading.